Leg 7 of the Moors Millions is the longer version. This weekend has a huge field in this. It's a 4 mile 1 furlong 0 to 130 handicap. At the top we've got Tints in Fire off of Padre Hogan. April Fermet, David Robertson, Sweet Women, David Hooley, Fire Lord Leon Van Rensburg, Friendly Vantage, Darren Thompson, The Gentle Blade, Leon Van Rensburg, Dino Wager, David Robertson, Captain Mannering, Martin Leedham, Shamal Defay, Padre Hogan, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson, Law Society, Will Graham Clutterbuck, Sarah Manamu, Matt Cooper, Tiama Vonas, Derek Hinton, Arctic Watch, Alex Cherry, Ideal Art, David Hooley, Glenfire, Fredlock, Alex Cherry, Matador, Martin Needham, and Ironical Harold for Graham Clutterbuck. So a field of 18 then for this one. And possibly the longest distance race of the week, and away they go. Head towards the first. Four miles and a furlong this time. And the grey matador is up there disputing the lead. So to his tinting fire on Shimon the Fame, both for the Padre Hogan stable and Alex Cherry's Glen Five Redlock is also in that leading group of four. The pace is somewhat pedestrian as you would expect. And also Actually, well, may I don't know whether you'd expect it or not, really. I'm just looking and thinking there's no Joshua Sutherland horses in this, but these national horses have been running so well this season, they're probably rated too high to get in. They're all safely over the first. And Tints in Fire and Glenfire Fredlock continue to dispute the lead. Matador is back in third with Frozen Hope and then Sarah Manu and Friendly Vantage. Looking towards the back ideal art is the early back market. As we continue to watch them from the aerial view, past the winning post with two complete circuits of the track to go. And Glen Fry Fredlot has now come through to take it up. Leading by about three quarters of a length as they get to the second. And they're all safely over the second. Mighty a lot over it safely at the back. Racing away from us momentarily, we'll get back on course with them shortly, I guess, as they head towards that next fence. You can see. In the distance, Cecil B. DeMille in, the, in charge of the camera today. And it's Glenfire Fredlock who comes into the third in front. Gets over it nicely. As did the chasing pack. They all seem to be travelling well in their favoured positions. The two Grand Clutterbuck horses are the two widest on the track, closest to us as they get over the next. And it's Glen Five Fredlot who leads by two or three. Oh, and now we're going to go Jockey Cabin. They come into the next. On the back of Captain Manor at the moment. Uh, that one okay. Uh, we lost Dino Wager there. Oh, we didn't see it, but I can tell you we did. Let's lose Dino Wager while we went on Jockey Camp. down towards the 6th Captain Manorin right behind his stable mate Matador um, Captain Manorin dropped that one really well as we now go and watch them racing away again back to a more traditional shot and Glenfire Fredlock we can see has opened up a lead of 5 lengths while we were doing all that back in 2nd and 3rd tints in foreign Shimen de Fay. Oh, Padre Hogan and wide on the track. Here's the Grand Clutterbox Law Society. Captain Mannerin and Friendly Vantage next then Tiama Vonas. As they get to the 8th, which they all get over okay, although April Furbet made a bit of a mistake. Maybe Rawson's other horse died away, he's already gone, so we won't want that one to exit the race as well. But it's Glenfire Fredlock, who's five lengths clear. Well, even though there doesn't appear to be a great deal of pace, Tintin Farrell is in second, then Captain Manor in Friendly Vantage, Law Society, then Tio Mavonas, Ironical Harold, Shimon the Fate. A little group of them followed by Ironical Harold as they get over the next. With April Furbeck still the back marker. Gentle Blade is running quite wide on the track at, the po at this point. They come down towards a tenth of the 21 fences they've got to take. 
This is a ditch. And all sailed over that one without mishap. And makes away to this turn. Glen Fire Fred looked a clear leader by four lengths. To Shimon the Fay in second. And wide on the track, Law Society. And I already got Harold. With friendly vantage on there inside. Matador on the inside of that one. Then just tucked in behind Tiama Vonas. And Sweet Women file all his after that one. And then Frozen Hope. Straight again, take the 11th. Which they all get over nicely. That'll be the final fence next time round. You can see their race down now towards the winning post. We've seen them from the back of the stand. Here's the winning post. And I was in front next time round will be the winner. Will it be Glenfire Fredlot? You get past it twice now. They race away to the next. Glen Fife Redlock will lead over the 12th. Good jump by Shimon the Fay in second, and then Law Society, and then Captain Mannerin is in fourth. Friendly Vantage is in fifth, and then comes Ironical Harold and Tints in final. Fire Lord getting closer to Yama Vonas and Matador are next. And then the Gentle Blade. Over the 13th they go. Little change in the order as they hit to the 14th with Glenfire Fredlot in front. All took that one really nicely. With Glenfire Fredlot in the lead. Shamal the face second. Line of. Well, you could argue it's an, almost a line of six, but it's probably just two now. Matador and Captain Manor as they take this next ditch. Then comes Ironical Harold and Law Society, Frozen Hope, and Tints in final there, almost in a line again now. Shimon de Fay on this near rail, the one that's trying to burst through his Sarah Manamu to get into that line as well. It's a wide open race, this one. And at the back, April Furbet is no more than 10 lengths off the leader. And Glenfire Fredlock is that leader coming down on the next. Glenfire Fredlock in the lead. Shamal the Fay second. Captain Manor and Frozen Hope three and four. In Sarah Manor Moon, Friendly Vantage and Matador as they get over that one. And head towards the final five. And Glenfire Fredlock. There to be shot at in the lead. Shamon de Fay second. Fire Lord is now cruising through into third. As they get over that one. That was the fifth from home. Just four to take now. And again, five red lots. Shamon de Fay. Fire Lord. Matador. Saraman Amu. Ideal Hope's getting into a friendly vantage. He's still there as they get over the next. Well, there's plenty of chances still here. But they've got to get back to Glen Fife Redlock. Then Fire Fredlock is still three clear of Ideal Art, who's now come through into second. Fire Lord is third. The Gentle Blade four. Then Shimmer the Fire Friendly Vantage. Captain Mannering. And then Sarah Manamu. Law Society. Tints in final. Matador wide on the track. That's one or two just losing their place a little bit. Over the third last they go. And the leader was a little bit slow. Glen Fire Fredlock. Fire Lord and Ideal Art are trying to close. Then comes Friendly Vantage. Captain Mannering is still running on again. So to show on the fan. Matador on the outside as they head towards the final three and a half miles. This is the second last, the final ditch. Over it they go. And it's still Glen Fire Fredlock, the clear leader. From the Gentle Blade in second. Friendly Vantage. Then show on the fan and Law Society and Fire Lord. Matador around the outside. Captain Mannering trying to get up the inside. So to his Ideal Art, but they've only got one to jump. Two and a half miles to go. One to jump and it's Glen Fire Fredlock in the lead they're queuing up behind though here comes the Gentle Blade Friendly Vantage Shimmer the Faith Fire Lord then Ideal Art and Frozen Hope trying to get into it as well they're coming down towards this final fence now and it's four in line and going to take off together as they head towards it and it's going to be Gentle Blade on the far side who comes out of it best and a Gentle Blade has now gone a length clear from Shimmer the Faith in second Friendly Vantage
Francis is in third final, then Glenn Five Reddle. They're inside the final final. It's the gentle blade only by a head though. Shimon the Fay is starting to wear him down, but the gentle blade is hanging on. Shimon the Fay is closing, it's gonna be a head bobber as they race up towards the line. The gentle blade and Shimon the Fay. The gentle blade takes his Shimon the Fay. Second friendly one to third frozen up tins in four or five lord. Ironical how then April fur bit and all the way back to April watch. And it took a while for Leon to get going this week, but he's made up for it on day two and three. That's another winner for him. The Gentle Blade takes that one. Shimon the Fay, second for Padraig Hogan. Darren Thompson, third and fourth with Friendly Vantage and Frozen Hope. Those four will qualify for the final. Tintin Fire for Padraig Hogan was fifth.